where the Big Bang happened. If the universe began a finite time ago, does that imply it has a finite size? Not necessarily. The idea that a finite age implies a finite size stems from a common misrepresentation, that the Big Bang emanated from one particular spot. In truth, it happened everywhere in space, all at once. If you picked any spot in the universe, the center of the Milky Way, a distant galaxy, even your own bedroom, you will find in rewinding the clock that all surrounding matter converges there. But the same is true for any point you choose. Rewinding time, the universe was hotter and denser, but importantly, it was equally hot and dense everywhere. The Big Bang didn't only happen somewhere far away, it happened right here, in the very space you now occupy. 13.8 billion years ago a plasma filled this spot. And it was so hot that nuclear fusion occurred. The very space you are in now was once as scorching as a hydrogen bomb. Fortunately, space has expanded and cooled a lot since then. It is now an average of just 2.7 degrees Celsius above absolute zero. The reason space is not zero degrees is due to the residual warmth of the Big Bang. The size of the bang. Given the finite age of the universe, we can see only as far as light has been able to travel in 13.8 billion years. This constitutes the entirety of the observable universe. But the observable universe is not the whole, the observable part constantly grows as new light from ever more distant locations enters view. So how big is the universe according to the Big Bang theory? How could we ever measure it? Fortunately, Einstein's general relativity provides a way to measure the size of the universe. Even better, it works without having to travel to the far reaches of the universe. It works a bit like measuring the size of the Earth using a level. General relativity says that if the universe is finite then space will be positively curved. It is analogous to how the surface of a planet is curved. Small planets have more curvature, larger planets have less. In principle, you can measure the size of the Earth without leaving your home. All you need to do is measure the curvature of the surface of water in a container. It's tiny. Across the surface of a 2 meter bath tub, the surface curves by 0.3 microns. Over a mile it would curve just 8 inches. Cosmologists have measured the curvature of space. The universe appears flat to within the limits of our measurement capability, within 0.4%. Given this, we know the whole universe must stretch at least 250 times farther than we can see. However, we know no upper bound to how much farther it might go. If the width, height, and depth increase by a factor of 250, then the volume increases by 250 cubed or 15,625,000. This means the whole universe is at least 15 million times bigger than the part of the universe we can see. Within our observable universe, our telescopes can see hundreds of billions of galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars. Based on the curvature measurements, what we can see is just a small speck of a much larger, potentially infinite, universe. The lack of detected curvature implies space extends a minimum of 11 trillion light years in every direction. Given that the Big Bang happened everywhere at once, we can't say how far space ultimately continues. For all that is presently known, it may go on forever.